Last match on the East Court. For the first part of the last 16. Sarah Jane Perry, number six seed. Take your Norel type of Egypt. Tie of unseeded for this event, but on the more recent rankings, knocking on that door, the top five. Former world number three, Tyab. And also former champion of this event, winning it alongside her husband, Ali Farag. Sarah Jane Perry, England number one, bronze medalist in the Commonwealth Games, adding to a silver that she got four years previously. 32 years of age now, Perry, just shy of the 65 percenter. Very, very successful career. 11 titles, the last title was that epic comeback at the Black Ball back in 20. 19. Well, Sarah Jane Perry wearing the purple shirt to signify World Mental Health Day. It's being massively supported by the players wearing the shirt for the PSA Foundation. You can scan the QR code, which will take you to the donation page. Half time. It's a really, really important aspect. Quite a few players are ambassadors for health and wellness with that side of mental health. Something that always gets overlooked and not really understood or appreciated. And it's very, very important in all walks of life. So go check it out. Scan that QR code. Take you to the PSA Foundation page. Norel Tab just seeing her husband get through a nail biting third game, very entertaining third game, particularly with Miguel Angel Rodriguez. I do feel that Norel Tab could be uh, quite a tricky opponent for Sarah Jane Perry. Perry with a good support system though. She's got David Campion, the England national coach, and her own personal coach, Rob Owen, in the front row. Really impressed by the comeback from Tyab. A little bit quieter in the auditorium now. It's looking quite busy. The first phase of this evening. Bank holiday in America, Columbus Day. And that is a very, very extensive head-to-head. -head. Talk about a bogey Sorry. woman, Perry. 46-minute average match time. So she'll be chopping and changing, making it really awkward for the English number one. Who's serving? Big, big ask this one. Sarah Jane Perry even being that seeded player in this match, you've got to kind of chuck that out the window. Norrell Tyab at world number six in the current rankings. Joining me in the comms box, finally, Paul Johnson. Looking forward to this one, Joey. Should be an absolute cracker. Well, Amanda Sobey is going comfortably. Two games to love up against South Africa's Alexandra Fuller on the West Court, 
quite a bit of the crowd have kind of moved over to that to see the USA number one. 8-0 in the head-to-head -head TJ, Norel Tyab. Change them, I'm not sure if those are the new ones or not. Fresh towel. It, yeah, it's a, the, the style of play that Tyab promotes, I just feel will be quite pro problematic. <laughs> Easy for me to say. For Sarah Jane Perry, because Tyab has got a natural hold in her swing. Round three match. And it stops Sarah the movement Perry of, England to serve of her opponents. She did receive. it. I remember watching her at the US Open here Just a couple of years games. ago at Drexel. And she took down Ranim El Walili in one of the best performances I'd seen from Tayeb. Stopped and started the movement, and Walili just didn't have an answer. It's got a nice high early racket preparation, but then everything just takes place so quickly, it's hard to read. extremely dead. I was going to say that, PJ. It's barely going... Yeah. It's really That's only going to play into the hands of Tyre, but again, the hold, and it's just like spaghetti junction. It's quite funny, this venue, isn't it? It starts to get to quite a nice temperature, and all of a sudden, the air conditioning turns on, and it drops about 10 degrees in 30 seconds. Yeah, it's very, very... It goes from... Fickle. ...reasonable yeah. to freezing. 4-2. Four very quick points for Tayeb. Again, it's a slight hold in the swing. Stops the movement. 5-2. There's frustrating times Six, out there two. for Sarah Jane Perry. She's being stopped and twisted and turned. Down. 7-2. Eight, two. down yours was good yeah no 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 the pickup was good how have they called that down hand out three nine that's unbelievable what have they seen there obviously nothing i'm surprised that type didn't actually dispute that it wasn't even close to down hand out 10-3 game ball Eleven. 
seven three. Well, that is very slick work from Tayeb. She is not hanging about. Tayeb leads one game to love. Well, Let's Robbo has is, got his work cut out in between games because, as you said, Norel Tayeb is five minutes, PJ. Yeah, she's on fuego. 11-3, leading one game to love. Very good start from Nor El Tired. Eight love in the head-to-heads. And as I felt, the just the natural swing of Tired stops and starts so many of her opponents. And Sarah Jane Perry needs to be reading and anticipating the ball to get those wheels in motion. It's a very good start from Tired. Well, the 8 0 head to head could well be nine. Quite quick fire if this continues. The winner of this playing, Mandy Sobey. Play will resume in 60 seconds. What would Rob Owen have said to Sarah Jane Perry in that two minute intermission after uh, the first game, PJ? Something along the lines of just give the ball some airtime, get it higher up on the front wall, don't allow to play at such a pace. She wants the ball coming onto a racket, thick and fast. Tyab leads, one game to love. love so she's going to need to slow it down. So needs a bit more injection in her own movement. She's got to start moving a bit quicker and a bit more assertive. Right up. One love. out one all and out two one One. Four one. TJ, this is really flying away now. Yeah, it's a bit of a chopping, isn't it? Really. Just welcome to the chop shop. Yeah. Five one. Six one. Lob there. It's let six one right side. Seven one. Absolutely slicing away through this. 
Second game, tired. 7-1 lead, looking in complete control of proceedings. I'll tell you what, when she's playing like this, she's going to be a real dark horse. 8-1. For this tournament. She did win this tournament a few years back, the same year, making history with uh, her husband, Ali. Ali Farag, when they won the... Uh, US Open men's and women's events. Never been done before. Can history repeat itself? Nomad. Nomad. Hand out 2 8. Yeah, it's good heavy hitting through the middle of the court. Slightly loose on the cross court from Perry, nine, just punished three. from Tayeb. There's the hold. Just doesn't have an answer at the moment, Perry. 10-3, game ball. Not at all. This is a one-way street. Very, very tough times out, out there. Out of court. Oop, a shout from Sheldon. 3 game to tie up. Tie so up leads two games to love. Once again, Rob Bowen going off to talk to his player. And this is looking... <laughs> Really quite brutal, just 12 minutes of squash. And it's tired at least two games to love. Well, this is a little bit of a tough situation, really, for Sarah Jane Perry. Quite sure she was expecting this, but full credit to Tyab. She's come flying out the gate. Eight loving head to head, so clearly very comfortable with the way in which she can overcome her opponent. And it's like a just a, a perfect situation for her. She naturally holds her opponents, and SJ is really struggling to move. Two love in 12 minutes, demolition time. Yeah, back on court, wanting to continue the slaughter. Ruthless Black Widow. Play will resume in 60 seconds. Think about her comeback, PJ. It's been pretty epic, isn't it? She's got back to six in the world and obviously will be pressing a lot further than that. Career yeah, high I'd world. be quite interested to know it quite sort of how far down she dropped to then bounce back in the time frame because I, uh, it's probably up there with I don't think anybody would have done it well, what you could do is a little bit of research Tyab leads two games to love more research yeah a bit love more all. I know you're busy but can be useful it's not enough hours in the day Joey because mm -hmm. continually well, not if you sleep in 18 of them <laughs> Well, very stressed out looking Rob so Owen. It's not been no, a good came night. Off the wall, middle of the court. I know. Yeah. Player review, Perry on the stroke. Taylor Gillis position. going down. And now Sarah Jane Perry is on her way out. And this could well stay as a stroke. Yeah, I mean, the way that... Well, there's contact with the racket. Swing, she, she hasn't really done the much up. there. It's going to be upheld, PJ. Yeah, I think so, Joey. There's no room to play. Stroke to tie up, decision upheld. Perry has three reviews remaining, one love. Yes, 
slat. One love. Down. Two love. Three love. Oh, nicely Ooh, done. Oh, tidy. <laughs> you like that one, didn't you, old peanut? Oh, dear. Yes, lad. We're okay. Yeah. <laughs> Tire goes low. absolutely flying here. Absolutely ferocious on the forehand bows from Ty. And out for two. She's rattling along the points here, Ty. This could potentially be under 20 minutes. Oh my goodness me, that's brutal. And out. That is a very, very tight backhand drive from yeah. Tired. No. So Jane three. Perry's just trying to gradually work her way into this. She's trying, yeah. A bit more length in the rally, a bit more longevity. Oh, she's hit the deck again. She's catching her feet. Five, three. for the middle of the court. Perry wins that one. End out, 4-5. It's not enough width on the cross court. is good from Perry, it's better. Yeah, there's trouble there though. Backhand volley drop from behind her in that deep left hand corner. Six, Stitched four. herself up a little bit, the English lady. Six, 
Yesled player review Perry on the Yesled decision. I think this will get upheld. She's on her way through. It's an okay backhand volley drop, but it's not great. Yes, let decision upheld. Perry has two reviews remaining 6 4. Uh, from the right. Seven four. Stroke to tie up. Player review Perry on the stroke decision. It's There's two in three in rallies. Perry swings, she hits you, so a it's a stroke. Review. We're looking at it There's now. no way she can appeal that. I think that's another stroke decision that will get upheld. Stroke to tie up, decision upheld. Perry has one review remaining. I know. Yeah. No, it was your pro it was your shot. Yeah. So I I'm glad she didn't hit it. Eight four. Well, that was a great attack. So Norel Tired can't get the ball quick enough. Nine four. Racing on to 9-4 two love lead oh, that's a lovely shot from Perry hand out 5-9 Nine. She's battling away here, Sarah Jane Perry, hanging on. She's under pressure though in this rally. Sled six nine left side. Yeah, there's a bit of a shuffle there from Tyre. She's made the error. And this is nine. seeing Sarah Jane Perry come back from two love and championship ball down to win. She serves out an ace. 8-9. Eight, 8-9. Nine. Eight, nine. It's very quiet with the crowd, isn't it? Yeah, it's all gone very quiet. Down. Oh, that's an error. That's a dreadful error, really. Done so and well out. to get back into Ten, it. Eight. And then Match ball. To give two game ball opportunities to somebody. Two match like balls. Tire is... Bit of a risk, to say the least. Frame one. Laurel Tyre takes it. Tyre, three games to love. 11-3, 11-3, 11-8. Twenty-five minutes for Tyab to dismantle Sarah Jane Perry. Perry 
a valiant effort in the third, but three love for the Egyptian. Slightly better from Sarah J. Perry in that third game, but it was all about moral tired, really. She just managed to stop Sarah J. Perry from getting any kind of momentum with her movement. Tiny little bit edgy at the very late stages, but a little bit too inaccurate. An unforced error actually gifting two match balls, but then that little bit of urgency onto the forehand drive here, giving that uh, three love victory in pretty slick form to the Black Widow. Three love victory there for the moment. Surab Gosal slightly struggling with something, and Norongo Hart. Three love with the retirement in the third game from Adele. A very entertaining match with Farag holding off the Colombian Cannibal. Three love and then three love for Norel Tayeb to cap off this night squash here on the East Court. Second part of the last 16 coming up for you tomorrow to reiterate there will be four matches also on the West Court on Channel 2 on Squash TV. Now, Channel 1, Mohamed El Shabagi will kick off against Mustafa El Surti. Tesney Evans takes on the Warrior Princess. Ramit Tandon of India, he plays Paul Kyal. And then Hanya El Hamami up against Sabrina Sobi of the USA. But from us here in Philadelphia, myself and PJ and all the crew, it's good night. We'll be back tomorrow.